Welcome to the second session of this. In my last session, I mentioned that you are going to cut four stripes of leather. This leather, this soft leather, is going to form these stripes on our sandals, as you can see. And I told you that you can measure it by placing your feet on this and then measuring it with, with the stripes. You can use a piece of paper to measure it on your feet, with your feet placed firmly on it, so you get the exact positions, how the stripes are going to be fitted under it. So once you get those measurements, you can now cut your stripes. After cutting the pattern on paper, for example, I did my pattern on paper first, paper to measure my feet, as you can see, before I did it on this. This is strictly a do-it-yourself. If you want to be more professional, you could buy artificial shoe sizes or artificial looking legs, have legs models that they use to make shoes. So, but this is just an example of how you can do it yourself directly on your own feet. So we have our four stripes ready. And then for the fourth stripe that is going to house to be attached to the buckle, you cut a small leather that will cover it. I repeat, you cut a little leather that will cover, cover the place we are going to put our holes that will enter into the buckle. When that is done, we are now ready to cut our materials. And your material must be double. The materials must be double the size of your leather. So it can fold very well. So you cut four stripes of materials that you are going to use to cover the, the stripes. As you can see. For the first one, the second one, the third one. Now, if you look at the sanders as already made, the third one is not completely covered. Every other one is completely covered. The third and the fourth is not completely covered. So you can see the third one, this, the leather is out, housing the buckle for the shoe. The fourth one, the leather is out, housing where we are going to make the holes for the buckle. As you can see on my stripe, see, there's a measurement here. We measure one inch and another inch. Where we are going to do the folding that will house our buckle. I repeat. After you've added your one and a half inch here, where you're going to tuck in, under the sole of the shoe, you come here, add an inch and another inch, two inches, where you're going to do the folding to house the buckle. Then, you will cut your material for your sole, that will cover the sole, giving one one inch extra at the sides one one inch extra at the sides as you can see that we are going to use to fold and cover the sole then when you're done with that you are ready to start the actual making of the second leg of this lovely sandals to match the bag that we finish making. So stay tuned and don't go away for the next slide.